Hey everybody, VP here, and it's time for another Prime Snip Snap! This is the short form video in which we play one game of Marvel Snap using a deck that I featured in a live stream at the beginning of the week. The link to that video, if you're watching this after the fact, of course, is uh, at the end of this video, so if you want to watch that, I do go into the deck explanation there. This is all about the Human Torch, we can, which we can now play for uh, zero, which I'm going to get it out there, because that's what this deck is all about. The Human Torch! He's a shy fellow, guys. Hasn't been showing up a lot in my games. <laughs> Rarely showed up in the live stream. Uh, and he's really showed up as I've been trying to record these uh, snip snaps. So uh, let's hope that we can finally showcase <laughs> the strength of the, what this deck can do. Uh, the only card I can play is Mystique, which I do not want to do now, so we're going to go ahead and skip our second turn. So far, we're leading, and my Burning Torch is out, and my Phoenix Force is in my hand. That is how this deck is supposed to work. We're supposed to kill off the Human Torch so that we can Phoenix Force it back. If my opponent doesn't do that for me, I have a Killmonger that will, <laughs> if the Killmonger shows up. In the meantime, if none of those things happen, we have uh, your classic kind of move package with Doctor Strange moving cards around, which is what we're going to do right now. Thank you very much. And uh, Mystique does on reveal. No, she copies ongoing. Yeah, Mystique's in here to, for that last minute surprise with an Iron Man or an Omega Red, but uh, not playing that currently. We got our Doctor Strange down. Doctor Strange will pull over our Human Torch. Doubling up its power. <laughs> Except I forgot that there was a monster on the field, and Doctor Strange pulled the monster over instead. So <laughs> ah, the the theme for this week is VP just wasn't paying attention. That's that's been the theme. I <laughs> really that has been the theme this week for sure. Well, turn four. We do have Iron Man. We can play down. Which isn't bad. Otherwise, uh, I wish I had something I could mystique right now. So I think we just play the Iron Man down. I kind of want to play it over here in Monster Island. I feel like I should play it in Crimson Cosmos. But I feel like I should play it over here in Monster Island in case we do get our cloak in our hand this next turn. Iron Man. Because then we can pull the uh, Human Torch out. Alright, finally, a Killmonger comes out to kill my, my Human Torch like this deck is supposed to work. <laughs> Which means now we can play our Phoenix Force. They have awakened the Phoenix. They didn't even know they awakened the Phoenix, but they have awakened the Phoenix, and they will be sad. They will be sad. Actually, let's not do the Phoenix quite yet. Let's do a Mystique over here. Yeah, 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 yeah. So she'll become an Iron Man. You can play... Oh, I can't play Nakia over there. That's fine. We'll play the Phoenix Force down over here. The idea being that we will move Phoenix Force am over Man. to Limbo, our third location. Get those Iron Man effects. Iron Man. My opponent's probably wondering, what is he doing? Is that two Iron Man over there at Limbo? I mean, I think... I think they can pretty much see what we're doing. But we might we might take them by surprise here. We might take them by surprise. Oh, ho, ho. I could even play onslaught down here. Oh, I mean we got to right. We got to. They can't beat this right. They can't beat this. A shung chi would take out my human torch. Um, but even with that, they might be able to beat it. They might be able to beat it if they play a shung chi. Otherwise, I think our phoenix forced human torch will win. The location. Hopefully they don't take the other location from me. They did take the other location from me. Oh, that is unfortunate. <laughs> Final turn here. Final turn. We can take that first location back, which I think we do. With a vengeance. Thank you very much. We'll get our Omega Red down there. And uh, look at this. 368 power. It's insane. But here's the thing. I think I got one more trick up my sleeve. I got all this power stacked in here. So obviously my opponent's like, well, I'll just play a Shang-Chi there. If they have a Shang-Chi. And take out my Human Torch. 
Now, I'm assuming this, so would it make sense for me to pull the Human Torch over here? The Human Torch would become a 28, and then this location just goes from 368 down to, uh, what, 9 times 2 is 18 times 2 is 30. It still would win, right? And then my Omega... Yeah, I think we got a clean sweep here. I think we have a clean sweep here, and I still have other cards I can play even, so let's go ahead and throw these other cards down as well. Uh, oh, I can't, though. I don't have the space, so we'll just have to go with that. I think it's going to be enough, guys. I mean, I think it's going to be enough, unless something drastic really happens here. Shang-Chi! Did I call it? They did have a Shang-Chi. I'm glad I moved our little human torch out of there. Now Shang-Chi is left with no target whatsoever, leaving us with 272 power in limbo. Human torch taken over that second location. Clean sweep of the board, guys. That's... That's how this Iron Torch and the Venomous Phoenix is supposed to work, guys. <laughs> finally, finally, you don't know how many videos I've tried to, to, tried to record to get this to happen. And just the Human Torch hasn't showed up. Or when it did show up, it didn't get killed. Or, or it didn't get killed. And the, uh, the, the Phoenix Force wasn't in my hand. <laughs> so there you go, guys. The classic example of what this deck is supposed to do. I mean, you can see right there. You can see the power output. It is insane. When it works, it works. But unfortunately, it doesn't work a lot of the time. <laughs> but this time, it did. So, awesome.